Hello, this is Rob Hirschfeld with uh, some exciting extension uh, that we just built for Digital Rebar to create cluster behaviors um, as stages. So um, one of the things that Digital Rebar workflows offer uh, in the system, let me see if I can bring it up in an easy way to show, uh, is the ability to, to build um, some standard stage behavior. So I can build a workflow. If you haven't seen this before, uh, it's super interesting. But I can build a workflow here um, out of multiple steps. And in this case, uh, we have some clustering stages that build a cluster and then can coalesce it or step through it like a rolling upgrade and then remove the cluster. And so uh, we've added four stages here, adding a cluster, removing from a cluster, synchronizing a cluster, that fundamentally build these two workflows in a generic way. Um, and what they do here is they will add from a cluster, and then in the rollout, you step the cluster. So it basically starts a step, and then it does, does some work, and then waits for that work to be completed, and that blocks the next step. So this is a rolling upgrade stage. So you're constantly doing one stage, then the next stage, then the next stage, or next machine in a rolling way. Or if you have a system where you need to coalesce, you can do the same add step, but instead of doing the, the stepwise function, you do your work first, and then you remove the machine from the cluster and then wait for all the machines to be removed. And that creates a synchronization effect uh, where the systems are all coming together. Uh, this is done very much uh, based on the pattern that we have for the uh, crib workload, if you've seen that, uh, it has a very similar mechanism in, it, in its operation. So here we have in our, our sync model, the same, the same workflow I just showed you, or cluster, which is doing the stepwise. Um, all of this is controlled through a profile. So I have a cluster profile here. Uh, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I've, I've already run it. This will let like two liters. I'll explain liters in a second. Uh, we don't need our liters here. Uh, that we're going to collect our machines in the cluster as we go. So what happens if I take, I have four machines, if I take these machines and I run them through a profile, so I can go ahead and say I want to run them through my stepwise cluster. If I start that process here, what you'll see is it adds them into the cluster. Wait time as a developer just creates some, no, some, some weights and then here, what you'll see happening is this one is, was first, it stepped and did it. The next one is waiting until that's in, it's actually doing its work. As soon as it's done, it releases it. The next step starts. So this is a rolling upgrade. And I could literally do this to do my, my cluster one machine at a time. You can control the step size, so you can actually do multiple machines per step. So in this case, with very minimal additions, I've been able to create a workflow that includes a rolling upgrade across the cluster feature. Not only was it, did it do that, in the middle of doing this, uh, this cluster it puts all that, that data in machines. I didn't jump in fast enough to show you. It also elected leaders. So I said I want two leaders, and now two of those machines are identified as the leaders, and that'll be persisted through the system. Uh, if I go back over here into my cluster, I'm going to reset it back to uh, just discovered. Excellent. And I'm going to go pick the synchronized approach. So when I do synchronized, these are all in the same basic wait time. So they're all going to wait. And then when wait is done, they're going to go through and wait for the oh, one of them is longer. So it's waiting for these machines to finish. As soon as they were all done, synchronization finished. So this is a coalescing action. So I can do a whole bunch of work can take different amounts of time, but if I want to make sure that everything has reached that same point together, I can use this synchronization step to ensure that my cluster operates in unison uh, after a sequence of work has been done. So a great way to synchronize. I'm going to go ahead back, uh, just throw it back into the stepwise function. And when I do that, if I jump over to the parameters here, sorry, my profiles here, what you'll see is the machines are actually being updated dynamically. Uh, and we're using the cluster uh, profile as a storage area. And so step by step, uh, you're going to watch one machine get pulled out at a time. So I know exactly which machines are in in this cluster, uh, and I can actually track how we are, where we're going. As an administrator, I actually have visibility into which machines are still busy, 
uh, and I can use my overview to track more generally which machines are doing what and, and, and where things are in the cluster. So um, very generic cluster building activity. Uh, this is part of the library that, that Racken maintains um, called the uh, task library, cleverly named. Um, it will, it's, it's in our current tip branch, so if you're interested in using this, it'll surface in 1.9 officially. Um, it should surface in tip uh, available uh, very soon, so that today is uh, the 14th, so probably the 16th or 18th of May. Uh, you'll see this is something that you can play with. Um, and super simple, so uh, just to, as a quick refresher, I'm literally building these stages. I'm adding, if I want to do the synchronize motion, then I, I cluster remove and then sync. So that'll synchronize things. If I wanted to show stepwise function, then I'm going to go add step remove um, for those steps. Um, once again, let me show you, see if I can pull up the drawing. Somewhere here, there's our drawing. So now, now this will make even more sense. Add, step, remove, or add, remove, synchronize. I uh, hope you find this interesting. This is something based on uh, work we've been doing, but we just coalesced it into a generic uh, function that you can apply to any type of cluster activity in your infrastructure. Oh, and one more thing. Crib does the same thing, and I'm assuming you understand it, but I want to be specific. The, all of this is triggered off of naming your, your profile. So cluster profile has to be the name of your cluster. So in this case, I just called it cluster. So cluster profile cluster is what tells the cluster which profile it's used uh, as this shared infrastructure area. I uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have questions, ping us on Slack. Uh, we're excited to talk about this. Uh, super fun uh, little ways that you can make uh, digital rebar uh, provide a lot of behavior for you.